Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles. And once again, I'm with my white background behind me. This video is all about you guys understanding that purpose is not something that you should look for as far as a life thing, but a thing that's actually what's connected to your heart right now. And what I mean by this is, I think what confuses a lot of guys about finding their purpose, being able to see, okay, what is it that I want to do in life is that they're always trying to look towards the end immediately. They're just starting off on whatever journey they're starting off in, which is a lot of time is the internal journey and they're going, okay, what is the thing that I need to do for my life? What is the thing that's most important to me? What is it? And they're always looking all the way down the track. They just started out in their life and they're already looking out what is the thing I need to do that's all the way 70 years from now or 50 years from now depending on their age and my thing to them is stop looking so far down the road because as you go through your life the unfolding of your life is moving purpose to purpose so you have to figure out okay not what do I want to do all the way in the end and what's gonna pull me from now all the way to 50 years from now or the thing that I'm leaving my legacy for no your legacy is something that's left in everything that you do it's not just the uh, end thing so for example let's say right now in my life the thing that I want to do right now of course is to help as many men as I can before I leave this earth and in the ways I'll do that, I'll help them find their own way because I found my own way. And I know that when a man finds his own way, he becomes the most attractive and he becomes the most happy in his life. So that is the thing that I'm moving towards right now. Now, of course, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, okay, that is the thing that's pulling me right now in my heart. That's the thing right now that's driving me with everything that I have. But I'm not looking at, okay, 50 years from now, okay, what is the thing that I'm going to be able to leave my legacy for? No, that is the thing that I'm thinking about for right now because it may change 10 years from now. 10 years from now, I may be doing something else because the unfolding of my life is moving purpose to purpose. And if you guys want an even better example, look at the people out there who we call the greatest in all the sports. The greatest in all the sports, they had a purpose at one point. Maybe their purpose was to become the best basketball player in the league. Or maybe their purpose was to become the best NFL receiver in the league. Or the purpose was to become the person who could uh, be the best actor or whatever it may be. Uh, whatever it is and whatever profession, I want to just move it across all professions now. They had that as a thing. But guess what? Once they were moving towards that, that was driving them. Their heart was like, this is what is for you. Keep going. This is the thing that you're going to be able to uh, do and that it's going to make you the most happy. It's going to bring joy to others in some way. You're going to be able to do the thing you love and it's going to bring you all the profits into your life. And they did that. But guess what happened? What happened was it, in, it ended at some point. <clears throat> and when it ended at some point, they had to find something different. And that's something you have to understand is that your, your life is an unfolding of purpose to purpose. That is, that's what it is. It is a natural unfolding. And if you try to resist any of these unfolding, you will go in immediately into unhappiness on the inside. You will not feel good. And I see so many guys out there putting out videos, especially in the community. You know, I don't watch any guy, anybody in the community anymore. But I see so many guys out there putting videos out on or I used to see so many guys out there putting so many videos out on purpose, finding your purpose, being able to find the thing you need to do in life. And I just went, I was once in that stage. And once I started to understand that my life is an unfolding of purpose to purpose, because guess what? I, I didn't always want to be this. I didn't. I didn't always want to uh, go out there and help men in this way. I didn't always want to do this. Now, I had a burning question inside of me since I was little of how can men and women come together, love each other, and have happiness. That's always been my burning question since I was little because of my background that I've had with my family of domestic violence and all these different other aspects. So that's driven me in some way. But also, I thought I was going to be a dancer at some point. I thought I was going to play football at some point, American football, not the football, soccer. <laughs> but I thought I was going to do that, and it didn't happen in that way. 
I thought I was going to be a physician's assistant when I went to college. I didn't, I didn't go to college all the way to let you guys know. I only went for one semester. Then I left. And then I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Uh, I got to go back. I got to pay $7,000. What am I going to do? Oh, man, I'll start going through all this. And then I came into this thing that I'm doing now. So to let you know, um, you must understand that it's important for you to not to try to figure out what is the thing that I need to do for the end of my life. What is the thing if I get to the end of my life that I wish I should have done? You're going to wish you should have done that because in this present moment, you're not doing it. You're not going to wish, okay, at 70, at 50, I should have did this. And at 40, I should have did this. No, you're going to be thinking about the moment that you had the choice at 23 to do something that you really wanted to do in the moment and you didn't do it. So whether that be right now, your heart is telling you to go play this sport or your heart is telling you to go play this instrument or your heart is telling you to go, go learn this dance style or it's telling you to travel around the world for a year or it's telling you to, you know what? You need to learn how to be better with women. So right now, have your job. This is what your heart is telling you. Don't just make some rash decision to go travel and meet women. Right now, you can't afford that. So just learn how to meet women where you are and save up money so then you can leave and become better at this because this is what's most important to you right now. So what is your life purpose? What is most important to you in this moment? That is your life purpose. And allow yourself to move towards that. Move towards that with total integrity and ferocity that's inside of you just move toward it everything that's inside of your heart that goes this is the thing you need to learn learn it this is the thing you need to do do it don't fall under don't fall into the trap of thinking that i need to know what do i need to do right now that's going to take me 50 years that's going to just literally take me down a road of 50 years of, of, a, of a process no do not take yourself into that that is stress Everybody's stressed out about purpose because they're not thinking about what does the thing right now that my heart is telling me to do. Because if you forget about purpose, what's going to naturally happen is that you're going to learn through what your heart is telling you to do right now in your life. And then the next moment in your life and then the next moment in your life. And that is an unfolding of purposes. And as you do that unfolding of purpose, that is your life purpose. You have to understand your life purpose. Purpose is an unfolding of purposes that you have. And I came to this because I was thinking about, um, there was a guy recently who said, you know, that I may be his biggest YouTube competitor or mentor or whatever it may be. And I started to think that, you know, I saw one of his videos and I was like, you know, maybe I could collaborate with him on a video or something because, you know, I'm already always looking for collaborations with guys who are the real deal. Then I started watching and I was like, nah, I don't really want to do it because I started to hear the same things. I'm like, man, I really don't want to do that. And one of the main things that turned me off was just one of the life purpose videos that he put out. And I was like, sorry, Daryl, I, I really don't want to. I mean, I can mentor him, but don't really want to do that. So the main thing with, you know, you guys understanding life purpose is I would say stop listening to people who are, re, who, are reiter, who are reiterating information, which means don't listen to people who completely are getting the concepts from others. They're becoming a master of listening to people. They're becoming a master of reading books. They're becoming a master of listening to masters instead of listening to the master that lies within their heart, which is your heart is always speaking to you. There's an intuitive part that you connect to. You'll be able to learn what is my thing I need to do right now. Become a master of listening to yourself. Become a master of listening to your heart. This is the thing that is the most cliche for, for people to say, but this is the absolute truth. If you learn to listen, shut up on the inside. And this is why meditation will always help you with this. Be able to listen more to and intuitively to what is the thing that I want to do right now in my life? What is the thing that's driving me? What is giving me the most oomph? What is giving me the most engine? What is driving me? And that is the thing right now that is your heart's desire. Your heart desire is always in alignment with your purpose. And your purpose is a natural unfolding. And as you allow that natural unfolding to happen, you feel happy in the process because you're progressing. Stop looking at your life in a way of you, you, that you want it to look like everybody else. Stop looking at your life like, all right, 
I've seen this person become successful. So that means that when they, they became success, successful this way, so that means that I need to walk the same path as them. So I need to learn this, I need to do this. I need to learn this, and I need to do this. And I go, okay, if you follow their path, then you're a replica of this person. You are unconsciously playing out a replica of someone else's path. And as you play out a replica of someone else's path, you are away from yourself. But the moment you come back to yourself, that's when you'll be able to truly live out your life in the way that you want to. Your purpose in life as a man will unfold to you. It will. And if you let it unfold in, in the natural way, which means if you follow your heart and where it takes you, I mean, really follow it. If it tells you to go learn this thing, you're like, but that's not in alignment with making a million dollars. I go, you got to let go of this million dollar thing, bro. You'll get there. If that's a heart desire of yours, you will get there. But right now, your heart is telling you to go learn this thing. Because as you unfold, the million dollars will come in. It will. What do I know about myself? Right now, my heart is telling me to give more. That's what it's telling me. It is telling me to give more. It is telling me to do talks next year. It is telling me to do workshops that include masculinity and pickup. It is telling me to put out more videos. It is telling me to learn different ways that I can market myself. It is telling me to do collaborations with people that I feel are the real deal. It is telling me to start putting poetry and start putting some of my other skills out there. My heart is telling me to give more. That is my purpose right now. It is. Now, I've told you a grandiose purpose of just being able to help men. But the thing that my heart is telling me to do underneath that, that umbrella right now is give more. Give more of your work. Give more of what you have to say. Give more of your heart. Give more. That is what my heart is telling me. And each morning I have a paper that I read and I look at it. And I've written down things that's in alignment with give more. It is. And it connects me to my heart every single day. I come out of meditation and I read this thing and then it says give more. My work not, might not be accepted by everybody, but give more. And that is mine right now. What is your thing that your heart is telling you to do? What is the thing that's pulling you right now? What is it? Really focus in. Be honest with yourself. What is pulling you in this moment? There's something that's pulling you stronger than others. If it's being better with women, then go down that path. If it's making money and learning about money, go down that path. If it's being able to learn a skill right now, go down that path. If it's your health and fitness, go down that path. If it's spirituality, go down that path. Whatever it is, man. If it's family, go down that path. What is your heart telling you to do right now in this moment? Your heart's desire points you down the road to your purpose. You'll never really know. You won't. Maybe right now in this moment, you'll know what my purpose is for now. And I'm going to move towards whatever I'm being pulled towards. But you'll never really know what is my over what is my over lifetime purpose, because it is always unfolding as you're walking along the way. So what can you guys do in this moment for you to be able to connect to that part of yourself that wants to start to live out what his heart wants right now, what you truly want, independent of others? This is what's important. Independent of others, what do you want? Right now, that's what you want to tune into. You can start to do this. Take a piece of paper. I'm not a, I'm not a person that condones writing on the computer because I never write on a computer. Everything that I write now is on paper. Take a piece of paper and I will say, as you're want to know what is the thing right now for my life to do write down what is it right now independent of others that i would love to do right now what would i love to do in this moment if everybody if i if i stopped listening to others around me and i just started to tune in to myself what do i want to do right now do i want to learn how to dance do i want to learn how to write in some creative way whether it be uh, non-fiction creative, whether it be fiction creative. Uh, I want to learn about managing money. I want to learn about this thing or that thing. Whatever, whatever it is that's true for you, start to write it down and look at it. Because now you start to see, 
okay, this is the thing that I want right now. And it may scare you when you first start doing this. I mean, my process of doing this is writing down what's most important to me, being able to fill into, okay, okay, that's the thing that's true for me. That's what's true for me. And sometimes my mind starts to, my attention starts to go away. It starts to go to, okay, this guy didn't say that. Okay, this guy didn't say that. Okay, but what about that other guy? And that's why I start reading books and I start listening to people online. Uh, all the people that I used to follow, everybody, Osho, Eric Thomas, I just completely just cut them out. I did. I was just like, anything that I want to become good at, I'm going to cut out those people that are good at that. Anything I want to teach, I'm just going to not listen to anybody else who teaches that so I can find my own way, so I can teach you guys refreshing information that comes completely from my heart. And yeah, some people may have said it in certain ways like this, but I can guarantee you right now, as you're watching this video, you're going to get something different in this video than any video out there just because I'm different and I've allowed myself to connect to what's true for me. And that's what I want you guys to learn to do is connect to what's true for you so you can be very different and you can give your own way, which is, like I said, in alignment with my purpose right now. So I write down what's most important to me. I write down, okay, what's in line with my heart? And I feel into it. Okay, is this for real for me? Is this for real? Am I just saying this is something to just give me some, um, some, some motivation? Am I just saying this because I think this is the right thing to say? No, I am saying this because this is what's true for me right now. The fact that it's true for me right now and I need to tune into it and I feel it. Ah, yes. Then I go write it down. And as you write these things down, look at which is the one right now that you can realistically move towards in this moment. So some of these things may be, I absolutely want to travel the world, but maybe right now you're not in a position to do that. Great. So that will happen because that's in your heart. That's what you truly want. It will happen if you allow yourself to move toward it at some point. Really, it will. So as you write down these things, some of these things will have more value than others, which means that some of these things will mean more to you than the other things. And the things I would say that means the most to you, I need for you to start to tune into, okay, what is a realistic way right now that I can start to move towards this? What is a realistic way? Right now in this moment, I felt into it. It feels good. I know that I want to go do this thing. What can I do in this moment to move towards that? Let's say it's dance. You know what? I just want to learn how to dance hip hop. And I've always wanted to learn this. And I think this skill is good. You know, the way the heart hits, you know, the way they groove, you know, the girls. I just, I just want to learn how to dance with the girls. I, I want to learn this way of being. Okay, great, man. Now that you've written that down, you really want to do that. You're like, man, this is what I really want to do right now. Now I need for you to go online. I, I need for you every day to look at until you find one. What is, a, what is a hip hop shop I can go to? And you start to work around, okay, okay, I can't go to that one, but maybe I can go to this one. And then you find one along the way that's maybe in a city that's 30 minutes away, but then you can go there every Thursday because you know that you have that block open. And now whatever you want has just manifested into your reality very quickly because anything your heart desires, anything that your heart desires right now can manifest the quickest out of anything in your life. That is a little key for you. If you want something in your life to manifest very quick, it must be in alignment with your heart and it will manifest like that. Like that it will manifest. Like that it will come into your experience in some way. That is just one way that I've done it. There's so many other ways out there and that's just one way I've done it. But just that small way of doing that, that can lead you with your heart's desire. Because remember, you have the heart's desire. Your heart's desire is your motivation. That gives you the energy that you need. And guys go, how are you always motivated? Like I said in my self-motivation video, it is because my heart is connected to every choice that I make. Everything that I write, everything that I say comes completely from here. That is the reason why it's easy for me to have motivation. But guys, they have so, many, so much confusion and clutter around their heart of just listening to this. And they're always listening to everything around them and people that they never really connect. To the thing that's going to give you them the most happiness and of course if you guys want to learn more about coaching with me go to naturallifestyles.com put in an inquiry on the um on the contact page and you know sean will get back to you otherwise look forward to my product coming out 
in May that will teach you guys so much about all these things that I'm talking about because everything that I'll talk about, many of these things will be in my product, especially purpose in life. And this video will be in some ways reiterated in that product, but in a different way, in a masculine way. And it's just showing you how can it, how can it unfold for you when it comes to you coming into your own masculinity. This is Sony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles, and I have to say that I love you guys, and I see you when I see you.